Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to be solving an equation with an integral. Well, I was calling these integral equations, but obviously these are not integral equations. These are just equations that has integrals in them. So we have the integral of f of x dx equals f of x squared plus e. So in other words, we're looking for a function whose integral, whose indefinite integral equals its square plus a constant. And where does that constant come from? Well, when you do indefinite integration, it's kind of like indefinite. We don't know what the boundaries are. We don't have any initial values, so on and so forth. So we do need to add a constant. And a lot of times, if you don't add that constant, you'll lose points on a test. Some professors are going to be very, very picky about it. Anyways, so we have this equation, the integral of a function equals its square plus a constant. How do you solve these kinds of equations? Well, this is not a differential equation, but we can turn it into one, sort of. Here's what we can do. When you have an integral equals something, you can differentiate both sides. Because what happens is the integral cancels out. Let's differentiate both sides with respect to x, of course. The derivative of both sides is going to be the following. The derivative of the integral of f of x is just going to be f of x. What happens to dx? Nobody knows. Equals. When you d differentiate something squared, you have to use the power rule. So bring the 2 down, reduce the power of f of x to 1, and then multiply by the chain rule. Multiply by the derivative of the inside, which is f prime. And then the derivative of a constant is always zero, so it just disappears. So it doesn't matter what it is, we'll see at the end if c made any difference. Now, we got this type of equation, what am I going to do with this, right? Well, here's what you can do. To make it a little easier, you can write it like this, f equals 2f times f prime. And I kind of put the like everything on the same side, f minus 2f f prime is equal to 0. Now you can go ahead and factor out f. f represents f of x, by the way. 1 minus 2f prime is equal to 0. Awesome. Even though this is a differential equation, it's a super duper simple one. We have f equals 0 as one of the solutions. So that means f of x is equal to 0. And what does that mean? It means for all x values in the domain. So it's kind of like identically zero, which means any input will give us zero as output. Make sense? And if you think about the original equation, that's going to work. <coughs> that's going to work because if you integrate zero, you're going to get a constant. And if you plug in zero on the right, you'll get a constant. So it's going to work. Great. What if f of x is not equal to 0? Then you get the second factor, 1 minus 2f prime is equal to 0. That means f prime is equal to 1 half, and that is f prime of x. Now, what are you going to do? You're going to integrate both sides, so you're going to be like integral of f prime dx equals integral of 1 half dx. Awesome. When you integrate f prime, you're going to get f because the derivative and the integral, they cancel out. Make sense? Like this. So end up with f of x and the dx also magically disappears. You get the integral of 1 half, which is 1 half x, plus another constant k. Okay, is that the answer? Probably. We'll check it out. But that seems to be the answer. So what did we get? We got two solutions. One of them was f prime is f is zero. I'm sorry, f is zero for all the x values in the domain. The other one is one half of x plus k. If the problem's initial condition said something like f cannot be zero, then we'll go with the second solution. Make sense? But that seems to be a valid solution. How do you know? Well, we can check. Let's go ahead and check it out. What was the original problem? Let's go back. The integral of f is f squared plus c. 
Okay. I don't have any C, I have K, which is a different constant, but let's go ahead and do this. Let's integrate F first. When we do, we're going to get 1 half of 1 half x squared plus kx plus m, another constant. And now what am I going to do with this? We're going to write it as 1 fourth of x squared plus kx plus m. Awesome. This is the left hand side. What about the right hand side? Let's go ahead and check it out here. f of x squared plus c. So my solution said f of x is f of x is 1 half of x plus k, 1 half of x plus k squared plus c. And now if you square this, 1 fourth of x squared plus, if you multiply these and double the result, you're going to get kx plus k squared plus c. Are these equivalent? Okay, what was the other one? Let's go ahead and copy that here. 1 fourth of x squared plus kx plus m. Yes, they are the same as long as k squared plus c can be set equal to a constant, which is m, and that can always be done because k, if k and c are constants, k squared plus c is also going to be a constant. So our solution works. And what is the solution? f of x equals 1 half of x plus k, and obviously f of x equals 0 for all x in the domain also works. And this brings us to the end of this video. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you next time with another video. Until then, be safe, take care, and bye-bye.